Hello guys, welcome to the third session of the Entity Framework Core 2.0 Tutorials. In this session, we will setting up the environment in our application for the Entity Framework Core. First of all, we need to create a new project of the type ASP.NET Core 2.0. For that, we need to use the Visual Studio 2070 Preview and also need to download the support for the ASP.NET Core 2.0 from that official site. Links for the uh, both is already available in the uh, description or the attachment. I am already downloaded both of them. After the installing both, from the start page click on the uh, create new project. From that list select the ASP.NET Core Web Application.NET and uh, give a name. I am going to use uh, Core First. Select the uh, location where you want to store and click on the uh, OK button. From this window make sure you are selected the ASP.NET Core 2.0. I am going to use the AVB application throughout this series and click on the OK. This is a blank ASP.NET Core project. We need to add the support for the Entity Framework Core 2.0 in that project. There are basically two ways for that. The first is by using the NuGet Package Manager and another is use the Package Manager console. In this session I will show both of them. First of all I am going to use the NuGet Package Manager for that. Right click on the project and select the Manage NuGet Packages. Open the Browse tab. Search the uh, Microsoft dot entity framework core. Throughout this series, I am going to use the uh, entity framework core 2.0 preview one. At that time of recording, entity framework core 2.0 is uh, not in the uh, public release. Therefore, I need to select the include pre-release. Select the entity framework core from that list. From that drop down, select the version that you want to use. I am going to use the app preview one and click on the install. You can see that the restore is complete in the our status bar. You can also cross check by expanding the dependency, NuGet. You can see that the here is the Microsoft Entity Framework Code 2.0.0 preview one final. Like this, we also need to install the uh, tools. For that, search the uh, tools, select it, and select the uh, preview one. Click on the install. You can see that the uh, tools is now under the uh, dependency. Throughout this series, I am going to use the SQL Server, so we need to install the packages for the SQL Server as well as the SQL Server design, just like the tools that we are installed. To install those packages, I am going to use the Package Manager console instead of the NuGet Package Manager. The Package Manager console is a dock at the bottom. If it was not available, then you can search in the Quick Launch. And open it. To install the package, we need to use the install package command and the name of the packet that we need to install. Write the install package and the name of the packet that is Microsoft dot entity framework course dot SQL server and use the version flag to download the different version 2.0.0 hyphen preview one hyphen final and use the pre flag because we are going to install the pre release and hit enter button. You can see that the uh, SQL Server was uh, added in the uh, NuGet under dependency. Just like this, we also need to install the uh, SQL Server design. 
and write the uh, design and hit the uh, enter button and uh, the uh, design is also installed However, the uh, design package is uh, not used by the uh, code first approach, but I am ensured because uh, in the uh, future example, I am going to use the uh, same project. Let's see what we are learning this session. We can setting up the entity framework in the uh, two way. First is use the NuGet package manager, in which we will search for the uh, package and click on the uh, install button. And second is use the uh, package manager console in which we are going to use the install package command and the uh, name of the uh, package we are going to install not that i am use the uh, pre-release version just because of the uh, entity framework core is uh, not publicly released it was uh, in the uh, under preview when you are watching it may arrive so you may not need to use the uh, pre-release option if you have any doubt feel free to contact me Thanks for watching, have a nice day.